morning and please stand. Let's just take a moment to return to our next Come to this Eucharistic celebration. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. And our opening hymn for this morning will be I Has Not Seen. I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love Him, Spirit of love. Come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up. Within your peaceful word, I has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus, teach us the wisdom of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, as the church celebrates the memorial of St. Dominic, let's pray sessions that we too can proclaim the gospel by our word and by our lives. Let's take a moment now to call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy, his grace, and his peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May Saint Dominic come to the help of your church by his merits and teaching, O Lord, and may he who is an outstanding preacher of your truth, be a devoted intercessor on our behalf. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to know you in weakness and fear and much trembling. And my message and my proclamation were not persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. Yet we do speak a wisdom to those who are mature, but not a wisdom of this age nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak of God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, which God has predetermined before the ages of our glory, and which none of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known it, 
they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him. This God has revealed to us through the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous deeds to all, all the nations. nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous deeds to all, all the nations. nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim, Proclaim your God. God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord your families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous, marvelous deeds, deeds to all, all the nations. nations. Say among you the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's, God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. He said, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind, is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, once again today we celebrate the memorial of St. Dominic, who is the founder of the Dominican Order, who is also known as the, uh, the Order of Preachers, the Dominican Order. Sometimes if you meet a Dominican and you see his or her name, after the name you'll see the initials OP, which just stands for Order of Preachers. Well, what were they preaching about? Above all, the Dominicans were preaching about Jesus Christ. But in particular, they were preaching against a certain error, a certain heresy about Jesus. This heresy was called the Albigensian heresy. It was very popular during the time of St. Dominic, and it said this, that the created world, that matter, that, that things like this, that things that, that are material, are bad, are corrupted, are evil, and therefore needed to be rejected. Uh, they needed to be cast aside. And St. Dominic saw this error. He saw that it was, it was a wrong idea. 
So he formed this order of preachers in order to preach the truth about the created world, to go out and to combat this heresy, to combat this error that had become so prevalent, that becomes so popular, and to pronounce the true understanding of the faith. And what was this true understanding of the faith? That God created the world as good, that the material world that he created is good, that the human body is good, all of it, it's good. The only problem is when we misuse the good things of this world for a bad intention, that's when it becomes bad. So Dominic and his order, the Dominicans, were formed to combat this uh, heresy during his time. St. Dominic and his order did what we hear in today's gospel. They left everything behind in order to proclaim the kingdom of God, also the same words we heard in the responsorial psalm. And because of their teaching, because of their preaching, the Christianity was won over to a true understanding of the Christian faith. And so today, as we celebrate the memorial of St. Dominic, we ask for his prayers, we ask for his intercession, that we too can leave all things behind to proclaim the gospel of the kingdom, both by our words and by our deeds, and especially give, give witness to the goodness of God's creation and his whole created order. Inspired by the example of St. Dominic, we offer our prayers and petitions to the Father. Eternal Father, let us walk by faith. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let, let us, us walk, walk by, by faith. faith. That the Church and her people may be strengthened in their faith and rely on the Lord in trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let, let us, us walk, walk by, by faith. faith that the hearts of the world leaders may not be hardened and influenced by the evil of selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let, let us, us walk, walk by faith. faith, that hardened sinners may return to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let us walk, walk by, by faith. faith, that those who find life burdensome through illness may see meaning in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord, Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let us walk by faith, that the faithful departed may be brought safely home to the house of God. Let us pray to the Lord, Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let us walk by faith. The intentions of this Mass are offered for the eternal repose of the soul of Dax Maglalam, and also uh, in prayer for Father John Block and Father Gregory Dick. We also offer up these intentions that have been submitted to us for the health of Monina Oro, Esperanza Mora, and the Castro Mesa family. We pray for the new uh, Knights of Columbus officers that will be installed today. And finally, we pray for the eternal repose of the souls of Belen Sayok, Mary Big Lin, Dominico Vudingu, and Monsignor George Vida. And in a moment of silence, we offer to the Lord the intentions within our own hearts and those we've already placed in our Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let, let us, us walk by faith. faith. God our Father, give us the grace to proclaim your gospel by word and deed through the intercession of St. Dominic. We ask this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Come, O Spirit of God, our heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Walk your Lord from my peace and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer you, O Lord, by the intercession of Saint Dominic, and through the great power of this sacrifice, strengthened by the protection of your grace, those who champion the faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Dominic you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus. Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabao, Leni sunt celi et terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Vivenit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Until you come again Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, St. Dominic de Guzman, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for and ever. Amen. Always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. On you stay, we call it Recata Mundi, we say, and 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Now we pray our prayer for spiritual communion for those who are joining us virtually. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your church, O Lord, receive with wholehearted reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of St. Dominic. And may your church, having flourished by means of his preaching, be helped through his intercession. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray now to Mary, our mother, as we say, Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, grace the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Take the word of God with you as you go. Take the seeds of God's word and make them grow. Go in peace to serve the world. In peace to serve the world. Take the love of God, the love of God with you as you go. Take the peace of God with you as you go. Take the seeds of God's peace and make them grow. Go in peace to serve the world. In peace to serve the world. Take the love of God, the love of God with you as you go. And we invite you to come to our confessions today at 9 a.m. And please invite your family members and friends if they'd like to come. And uh, we will have our regular Sunday schedule this weekend. God bless you and thank you for being here this morning.